City workers and BNSF work crews are clearing a homeless camp situated in southern Topeka. Here's a look at some of the cleanup along South Kansas Avenue that happened this morning. And you can see rows of shopping carts lined up along the road near large trash bins. A city of Topeka spokeswoman says BNSF is working alongside the city for the cleanup work. And joining me now is Lamanda Broyles, the executive director of the Topeka Rescue Mission. Lamanda, welcome. Hello, thank you for of having me. Of course. Now, hearing that story that we just came out of, what is your reaction to them doing that cleanup in that area? Sure. You know, the Rescue Mission always just tries to be of service, uh, regardless if that is for someone who walks up and needs some, something, uh, someone that's accessing shelter, or when the city needs to do cleanups. And so our primary focus is taking care of the people, uh, seeing what barriers um, are in place and seeing how we can help remove them. Yeah, so with that cleanup you're offering, just saying if you guys need a place, we're available to the Absolutely. community. Mm -hmm. Now, homelessness has been a big topic of conversation around sure. Topeka with, um, you know, city council members and even residents, some saying that they don't feel safe and some saying that it is a big problem. So what sure. is your reaction to the conversations that have been being had? Sure. You know, the first reaction I have is I love that the conversation's happening. Yeah. Um, homelessness is a concern and it is a community concern. Uh, it's not just um, something that's a priority of the rescue mission. It shouldn't just be a certain priority of a certain community. Uh, nationally, we see the trend increasing and we see that many communities are facing this. So we have to start by having dialogue. Uh, my hope and wish uh, that we're going to continue to do is have healthy dialogue where we are really solution based and looking at how can we work together, what's right. already happening in our amazing community, uh, maybe some pockets of things that we need to implement that we don't have in place and doing that together. Yeah. Now, speaking of having conversations, the rescue mission is planning on having a few informational meetings. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that and what is the organization hoping to get out of those meetings? Sure, you know, I think sometimes um, it's just helpful to have opportunities to have dialogue mm -hmm. and to educate. And so there's concerns out there that the community has. We want to hear them. There's going to be a question and answer time uh, so that we can um, give answers. But then if there's something that we don't know, then our team wants to work towards finding that out. Mm -hmm. uh, this will also be a time where we are unpacking history of homelessness, trends of homelessness. Uh, we will also be diagnosing diving into operations uh, that happen within TRM and also some of the misconceptions that are out there about some things that the rescue mission does or doesn't do that's not accurate. And so it's really a time for us to dive into truth, dive into facts uh, and be solution based to see how we can work together. Right. Now you mentioned um, a time of educating and yes. education. Back in April, actually, you were a part of a trip to Colorado visiting Denver and Colorado Springs yes, to see how they handle homelessness. What did yes. you all learn? Yes, you know, the first reason why we went out there is because the city in Colorado Springs was needing to do something to help get people off the streets, mm -hmm. but they didn't have locations for them to go. And so they overcome a lot of challenges and right. a lot of hurdles working together as a city government with the rescue mission. That was a whole reason why city officials and the rescue mission went out there mm -hmm. just to see what did it take? What were the struggles? What came out of it? Um, and there's so many possibilities not to necessarily do exactly here in Topeka what Colorado Springs did, right. but it's a starting point. Right. And it allowed us to look at the gaps that we have. It allowed us to look at the amazing things that we're doing as a community and just start taking steps for it instead of just talking about it. Yes. Well, is there anything else that you want to tell me? No, I just appreciate the opportunity and anytime you need me to come back, I'm happy to. Okay, we will keep you, we will take you up on that for sure. <laughs> sure. Thank you, Amanda, for joining us. David, we'll send it back to you.